Hey, this is Nate. Just wanted to put this quick site review together. You've got your site pulled up here, and I want to go over three things. Content, citations, and backlinks. So we'll get into what those are. You know, I always start with content. With Google, content is king. You know, scrolling down through the site, the overall layout looks good, but there's not a lot of content on here. We really recommend about 1,500 words on this homepage and about 500 to 750 words on those back service pages. The reason for that is you want to be able to organically fit those keywords and keyword phrases that people are typing into Google into the content on your page. It's not the only way to get found for particular keywords, but it is the easiest and fastest way for Google to find those keywords and know that your site is relevant to what people are looking for. So I've got a couple of the local guys pulled up here. You know, this is one of the top ranking guys that I found. You know, as you can see, again, nice layout, but there's still not a lot of content here, which is really common. I see it probably on 95% of the sites that I look at. You know, here's one of the other guys that I found. You can see this guy's got several back pages through here. <coughs> Excuse me. But again, as you go down through here, still not a lot of content. On the content game, these guys would be pretty easy to beat, but that is not the only game that we plan on winning. You know, Arifs is one of the paid tools that we use to really break these sites down. You know, right now, you're not showing up for any organic keywords. So, if we go over here and look, you know, this guy's got 435 keywords. This guy's got 322. So we'll go back over here and take a look. You know, if we pull up these keywords, you know, mobile detailing Orlando, there's 250 people a month searching that. And he's in the second position. So he's getting 39 visits a month on average to his website just because of that one keyword. Automobile detailing Orlando, again, 250 people a month searching for this. He's in the third position. He's got about 33 people a month coming to his site. Car Detailers Orlando, 450 people a month searching that. He's in the fifth position, and he's getting about 29 visits a month to his site. And I'm going to use this one right here as my example because it's really easy math. And this guy's hitting that spot. But Orlando Detailing, there's 90 people a month that search that. He's in the number one spot. He gets about 29 visits a month to his site which is pretty average from what I've seen doing these videos in the past. If you get that number one spot, you're going to get about a third of all of that traffic coming to your website. So if you look right here, we'll call it, we'll round this off at 900 just to make it easier. But if you were in the number one spot for all three of these keywords, you'd get about 300 visits a month to your website. So think about that, you know, 10 people a day on average are coming to your website. How many of those people could you turn into clients and what would that do for the bottom line on your business? The second thing that I like to go over are your citations. This right here, I typed in, or, you know, Auto Detailing Orlando FL. First thing you see right here is what we call the Google Map Pack. There's generally three places here. Sometimes there'll be a fourth guy that's running an ad. So this guy is paying to be in this spot. But these guys are just organically here, and that's where we want to get you. So you need to have your Google My Business page set up and verified if you have not done that yet. But if that page is you know, set up, verified, everything's ready to go, you want to start adding citations to that. What a citation is, it's your business name, address, and phone number listed in multiple directories across the Internet. There's Yellow Pages, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Merchant Circle, hundreds if not thousands of these directories out there it's just a matter of tracking them down signing up for them and getting your information in there it is very time consuming but it is something you can do you want to get in as many of those directories as you can some of the other factors are going to be your star rating the number of pictures that you have on your google my business page how many pictures you have uploaded to that google my business page and making sure it is 100% completely filled out. So there are some other small factors outside of the citations, but citations are one of the biggest factors to getting into this map pack. The third thing would be your backlinks. Currently you're showing up for three backlinks, but what a backlink is, is any website that has a link 
that I can click on that takes me to your website. So some of the ways to get backlinks, there's, you know, some of your citations will give you backlinks. There's blog commenting you can do. There's guest posting you can do. All that being said, not all backlinks are created equal. You do want to avoid the spammy type of topics. And, you know, if you're going to go the blog route, you want to keep those blogs relevant to the industry that you're in or the area that you're in. That way they are the most relevant to your business. But, you know, go out and find some auto detailing blogs, read up on some articles, post a comment in there, put a link back to your site. Some of those will give you backlinks. You can do the same thing with like some local Orlando blogs, you know, stuff like that. Those are going to pass you the most power and authority because when it comes to backlinks, it's a popularity contest. More backlinks you have, the more popular Google thinks you are, the more authority they're going to give your page. But like I said, not all backlinks are created equal, so it's not just a numbers game. You know, you do want to get the backlinks with the most power and the most authority passing over to, to your page. You know, if we go back and look, this guy's got 246, this guy's got 149, but what we can do is we can go in here because of the tools we have and see exactly where this guy's getting his backlinks coming from, if my computer will ever upload. Technology is great when it works. I love when my computer does this to me in the middle of recording one of these. Let's go over here see if I can get this one to pop up. There we go. We'll use this one as our example. But because of these tools, we can go in here and see exactly where these guys are getting their backlinks from. We can check the power and the authority of these pages. Make sure they are the type of backlinks we would want to put on your page. And then go to those exact same pages and try to get backlinks for you. I call it the copycat method. You know, find the guy that's got the most, copy the ones we want, go out and find some more on our own, beat this guy to his own game. But that is my basic overview for you. you know, I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, you know how to find me. Um, thank you for your time. Have a great day.